Hi everybody, it's Sarah with a quick walkthrough of my newly reorganized and rearranged craft room. My craft space is in my basement, so it's shared with my partner's games and a big couch that we are in the process of getting rid of. Uh, once the couch has gone to another home, we will move this uh, big trunk here and another one to be vertical here in place of the couch, and that'll help open it up a little bit. Um, the space has been used for storage, so it's, it's, it's difficult to open it up, that's for sure. Um, so I have a hutch here that has some junk journal supplies at the bottom. Those are the books that I take pages out of to add to junk journals. I, I love witches, so you will see some witches around um, here. This um, has my uh, collection of junk journals that I have made and kept for myself and also saw a few that I have purchased. You'll also see my little witches and um, I guess ogres, maybe gnomes, not, not gnomes, ogres from Mandy Russell. She's a, a local artist here and does fabulous work. I've also got a few cork owls and my witchy pets. So that's my, my hutch. And the bulk of my week I spent um, organizing my junk journal supplies. So you will notice that things are in bins and that they are all labeled. I got a new Dymo, well, a Dymo label maker from um, Goodwill and I love it. It was practically new. So um, I have made good use of that this week. So uh, on top I have my binding kit some corks, some coffee dyed paper, and some digitals that I'm working through. I have over here my fabrics that are kind of scrap fabrics, my scrap papers, and then all of my, uh, well, some of my supplies here. Um, you'll notice that I've got um, flowers, birds and butterflies, paper clusters, fabric clusters, quilted toppers, doilies, um, a bin, an open top uh, drawer for collage, and I have a drawer for finished ephemera too, and my coffee dyed paper from GT Designs is uh, stashed right there. On the bottom, I have some books that I intend to cut up and use in junk journals. Um, I also have um, some washi tape, some oracle cards that I use in junk journals, and some music paper over there too. And so moving on to my workspace, I have a sit down desk there and I also have a stand up desk. I have back issues and the option to either sit or stand is a really great, um, uh, it, it helps a lot. So at my desk, I have my fabrics stored in pull-out drawers underneath. I have six drawers. And I'm going to step back a little bit here. Above my desk, I have my big scare owl that I made. And on my desk, I have my tool caddy. This is my current project that I'm working on. Um, and I have some stencils up above my stamping for um, the vintage photo, uh, not stamps, um, distress ink. And my sewing machine is um, hidden under a vintage apron over there. So to my right, I have my trash and recycle. And I have this great shoe caddy that is kind of the bags are meshed so you can see through. This is where I store my stamps and my um, my cutter, uh, what do you call these, uh, punches, punches. I've also got gesso and acrylic matte medium down there too. And up here I have another little hanger. I think it was originally a jewelry hanger, but it's where I keep my... Uh, labels that I have fussy cut or ordered on Etsy and it's double-sided so it has a great storage capacity. So to the right, further right of my desk, I just got this fabulous new teal dresser from Hatch on Main over this weekend and I love, love, love it. Not only does it add storage space, 
but look at it. It's beautiful. The color is luscious. So on top, I have a caddy storing all my paints and as well as my um, uh, attachers. So there's paper clips, uh, brads, things like that in that um, section of the caddy. In the suitcases, I have beads and um, this one has buttons in it. And in the, the drawers, I have things like napkins for decoupage. I have my art journaling supplies and um, jelly printing, that sort of thing, as well as some, some stored bases that I use for junk journaling that I didn't have enough space for up here. I'm still kind of decluttering this corner. Um, I've got lots of magazines, Somerset Studio, that sort of thing. Um, I've got some correspondence that I've just thrown into this basket that I need to take care of. And here is where I keep all of my 12 by 12 paper packs. Um, they are some cardstock, some paper, double-sided, single-sided, but it's a, it's a great tool. On top, I have... Uh, like a, a cards and, and envelopes for letter writing. And then I have uh, yarn and um, for actual knitting that I don't do and rug hooking that I also don't do. Um, up top, I have all of my Tim Holtz paper. Um, since he's not going to be doing the 12 by 12 pads anymore, I stocked up and I've got some of his wallpaper, some tissue paper, and then all of his, his little paper dolls and some other Timmy supplies up there too. Underneath, I have all the books that I'm going to repurpose into junk journals. So I, I used to have these in one of the trunks, but I really like having them out and on display. There, it's much easier to find the exact cover that I want. So I really like the Vintage Reader's Digest books. And here's just a, a sample. They have fabulous covers. This is kind of a teal with gold stamping on it. And then this one is, you know, orange. Um, and then this one is, you know, floral with a dragonfly. So I'm really excited. I can't wait to repurpose some of those. My next project, though, is a set of Raggedy Ann and Andy books. So these I found at our local bookstore and um, at Twice Told Tales. It goes to support the library that I work at. And um, they have some beautiful uh, Raggedy Raggedy Ann covers. So I can't cannot wait to repurpose these. I've been trying to gather supplies. So um, that is my next project. This is a project that I'm actually currently working on and um, I've got it all uh, bound. I just need to add the, the fabric on the cover and get um, the signatures inserted. Back here I have some covers that I have taken out the, basically I've gutted the book and I need to um, create a spine for those and they will be a junk journal. All right, so what else over here? So I have this um, card catalog drawer type of set that I love and inside it, it stores all of my glues and my ink pads and um, some office supplies and some miscellaneous supplies. On top is this wonderful wire um, lined um, crate, I guess you could call it, with it's lined with vintage uh, fabrics uh, in a sort of a crazy quilt style. I got this at Hatch on Main, one of our local gift stores. Inside I have uh, some dictionary pages that I use in junk journaling and some scrap paper and some of the the, the rolls of the, the paper. Um, uh, I think it's called painter's masking tape or paper um, that I also use in junk journals. And over here, I have all my project boxes. You will see I have a project box for bunnies, for Maine, for Raggedy Ann, um, Valentine's, a couple for Autumn. And I've got a bin to coffee dye and some add-ins and a whole Harry Potter bin. Underneath on this dresser, I have all of my, my laces and trims in the top two drawers. And then I have uh, sort of bigger project drawers. So this is like my witchy astrology sort of project drawer. I've got a Christmas project drawer and a steampunk project drawer and a very full Halloween project drawer. 
So I had a lots of fun organizing those. So we've got this big steamer trunk here and I found these vintage patterns um, at a, a store a couple of years ago and uh, they will be repurposed into journals too. I mean, look how fabulous that is. I can't wait to use that. So, um, and then in this blue tin here, I've got some vintage photos that I use to tuck in my, my junk journals. So that is it for my craft space. Thanks for coming along with me. I um, hope you have a great day.